This channel is going insane. People are fucking going crazy. People are fucking going crazy. People are fucking going crazy. People are going insane. People are going insane. People are going insane. Oh my god, insane. What's going on? Dude, man, crazy shit going on this morning, huh? Like, I'm just trying to talk to people here, and people are... I mean, look at this chat room. It's fucking going bananas, man. It's going fucking insane right now. Yeah, this is live. It's fucking crazy. I mean, this is like what would happen if, like, Total Biscuit was still playing WoW and Total Biscuit got banned. You would see, like, 900,000 people flock to the WoW forums and go, like, totally insane. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I saw Swifty's video. Dude, it was, like, sad. It was, like, the Eagles song, Desperado. Um, it's, like, totally insane uh, about what's happening with this. Yeah, dude, I saw the Bajir video. I was, like, holy shit, dude. Uh, Bajir fucking, like... He he was just insane. Dude, that's going to be like one of those viral videos about a WoW player cursing out Blizzard. It's pretty funny, though. I mean, what can you say? But, um, I mean, uh, in general, Let me leave this channel because they're going pretty much fucking ape shit in there, like totally ape shit. Yeah, I just went the I just went the dark uh, dark spear right now just to kind of like see what was going on and fucking Goldshire was insane. Goldshire was nuts. There's like a there's like a guild called Unbanned Swifty already and shit like that. There was like a I don't know, man. Like, I've never really seen anything like that before in my life. What's up? What's going on? But people ask me, what do I think about it? And it's kind of like, if you, if, you, if you watch the live stream footage, you know, uh, half of it was basically, you know, him just wanting to go to other servers with other Daryl McTire members just to say hi to other people. And, you know, it turned from being, you know, just a couple of people hanging out to like, five, thanks a lot, to about 5,000 fanboys logging on with Daryl McTire, you know, with a few people from Daryl McTire telling people to come on and crash the servers. I mean, obviously, during the live stream, the words crash the servers were said by a few members that were not Swifty, that were not Swifty. Uh, Swifty even has his own video recordings of him saying, hey guys, we're not crashing servers, let's not crash servers. But because Swifty is the big name associated with Darren McTire, and he was the actual person who was live streaming at the time, you know, Blizzard sees him as being the person who provoked the situation in general. He was the reason all those people were there. But was he the one who actually told... I mean, you should probably get people in this channel right here. Because I'm about to spit some fire, plain and simple. I'm about to spit some fire, plain and simple. I mean... Yeah. I mean... He, he in no way said anything about everyone that's come to this server and let's ban this shit. You know what I'm saying? There were rules. There were rules broken. Okay? There were rules that were broken. Now, I have right in front of me the Blizzard Terms of Service. 
Um, no one reads this shit in general. No one ever reads the terms of service. That's how. That's why when people get banned permanently, they don't understand what happened. Okay, but this is the terms of service. These are all the rules that Blizzard has put in place for World of Warcraft. Uh, things that you should and should not do. Now, if you look at this section of the terms of service, it says you may not. And then, you know, it says here, blah blah blah, uh, spelling or circumstance, the content and language restricted above. It says you cannot harass, threaten, stalk, embarrass, or cause distress, unwanted attention, or discomfort to any user of the game. So when they did that whole entire live stream, going server to server, going server to server, crashing the servers... They broke that rule of the terms of service because they were disrupting not only the users of the game, they were disrupting and harassing Blizzard, and they were also um, basically, you know, discomforting any user out there. You know what I'm saying? And now, the, the key question here is, the key question here is, should Swifty had been the only person banned for doing this? And the answer is no. Oh, Refonics used to be so nice on this channel. Peace out. Um, and the answer is no. It shouldn't just be Swifty. It should be fucking everybody who was involved in a situation. If Zybek was involved, Zybek should be banned. If the GM was involved, the GM should be banned. If in any way, even people that you like, like Mufasa, if Mufasa was involved and heard saying shit like, let's crash this shit, he should be banned. Anyone associated with the live stream that day that was in that group with Swifty should have been banned. And the major fucking problem is that Blizzard is looking at the most perfect opportunity to take a high figurehead in World of Warcraft, like Swifty, and make a fucking example out of him. They're saying, you know what? Let's take this fucking guy who is worshipped and loved by hundreds and thousands of people and let's ban him. Let's make him the example so that nobody, nobody in the World of Warcraft ever tries to crash a server ever again. And I can tell you that right now. No one will ever crash servers ever again because of this situation. Okay? Okay? No one will ever do this again because of the Swifty situation. Now, are is Swifty going to be unbanned? Probably. I'm pretty sure Swifty knows some sort of people in Blizzard. Um, I'm not sure what type of relationship Razor has with Blizzard or what type of relationship Swifty has personally with Blizzard. Um, I've never seen Swifty in any of the alphas or the betas uh, in World of Warcraft that I know of, so I'm not sure if he's uh, friends or family of anyone in Blizzard. But in general, like, he should not be the only one banned. Like, that's the, that's the outrage. I think that's a lot of the outrage that's going on um, with a lot of the people in the Derek McTire live stream. Maybe, yes, okay, let's, let, let's, get the, let's get the facts straight, right? Um, let's, let's be civil here and say that a majority of the fans of Swifty are probably teenagers. They're probably young children who don't know what's going on right now, and the only, and the only thing they can respond with is, fuck shit, cock cunt, unbanned Swifty, mother, fuck this, fucking pieces of shit. You know, and these, and these kids are going Tourette's right now, and they're logging onto the servers and just causing a lot of distress. And that's not helping the situation. People need to realize that if you cause more trouble, you're not going to be helping Swifty. You're not going to be helping Swifty. You're going to be making it worse for him. You can't go onto the servers and start cursing and yelling and creating all these forum posts. It's not going to help him. This is not what helps people. You have to relax. Also, unsubscribing 
from World of Warcraft, that doesn't do anything. Do you think if even 100,000 people unsubscribe because of one person, Blizzard will unban the person? No, no, that's not what's going to happen. Blizzard doesn't care, man. Blizzard is swimming in a big goddamn pool of George fucking or Scrooge McDuck fucking money. Plain and simple. They don't care. They do not care at all. What they want to do right now is they want to tell the community, hey, you want to fuck with Blizzard like he did, you're going to get the same shit. That's basically it. And people going onto the servers right now and causing all this trouble is not helping Swifty at all. You're actually making it worse for Swifty. You just don't know it because a lot of the people are really immature about the situation because a lot of his fans are very young and they, they don't have a mature mind enough to just act mature and shut the fuck up and just wait till Swifty figures it out. The more people bitch, the more people whine, the more people post on the forums, the more people actually start harassing Blizzard, the worse it's going to make it for Swifty. You know what I'm saying? Because then, you know, you know what Blizzard is going to say? Blizzard is going to say, oh, so now, Swifty, you're sending your trolls to Blizzard because we banned you for a terms of service violation? So people right now are not making it easier for Swifty. You guys are making it worse. You're making it worse. Real bad too, man. Like, you just can't be fucking going on to servers. You can't be emailing. I mean, I'm pretty sure Ghostcrawler has like 80,000 emails in his inbox right now. And Ghostcrawler isn't even the person who handles PR for Blizzard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But... You know, although I am in the Dara McTire Guild as a friend, you know, and I do hang out there to chill with some people and talk and do some battlegrounds, I'm, I have to go out and I have to say that Swifty should not have been the only one banned. It should have been plenty of other players that were present with Swifty who were publicly saying with Swifty, let's crash the servers. You know, whether it be Zyback or whoever else was with Swifty, they should be banned too. And not just banned for three hours, they should be, bur they should be banned permanently with Swifty. But, you know, in my opinion, I'm not saying it's trying to be like uh, a, a conspiracy. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. I'm just saying that Blizzard saw the perfect opportunity to take a high-profile player in World of Warcraft and ban them. And ban them in, in hopes that no one will ever do something like this again. But I am pretty sure that in the future, he's going to be unbanned. He will be unbanned. I mean, unless, unless, they, unless Blizzard can come up with a perfectly logical reason as to why they pointed out Swifty in general. Don't forget, folks, you, can't, you cannot sue Blizzard. Blizzard owns your character. Just because you pay $15 a month doesn't mean shit. $15 a month only means you get to log into a server, take an avatar, and move him the fuck around. Blizzard owns your ass. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's exactly what I'm saying, is that they own you in general. Blizzard does own your ass, and, you know... You can take whatever legal action you want against Blizzard. Like if Swifty said, you know what? Fuck this. Blizzard isn't unbanning me. Blizzard isn't unbanning me. I'm going to take this to the fucking law right now. We're going to take this to the fucking court. Blizzard would laugh in his face. They would say, dude, are you kidding me? Did you read the terms of service? We own your character. And anything you do with your character is our responsibility. Remember, folks, there's, there's Swifty, the player, and then there's John, the person. I think that's Swifty's name, right? His name is John, Joshua. I think it's John. I'm pretty sure I, I called him John in Vent once. Um, and the fact is, is that you have John and then you have Swifty. They are two, two very different people. Blizzard can easily say, you know what? Well, John is a real-life person. Swifties are motherfucking person. 
we own his tune. Whatever he did to disrupt other people, he broke the terms of service. Case closed. Everyone leaves the courtroom. Swifty fans start jumping off of buildings and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I saw Swifty's um, YouTube video, and he's absolutely right. Swifty can go ahead and he can start a level one character, and everyone will power level him to the world as crashing servers will be over in the next couple of days. I can guarantee you this. If people stop harassing Blizzard because of Swifty, Blizzard will probably sit down and listen. Right now, Blizzard is looking at Swifty as a threat to them right now. You have to understand this. It's a fucking public relations ordeal right now. Blizzard is looking at the reaction of the fans of Swifty, and Blizzard isn't... Okay, people, do you think Blizzard right now is saying, oh man, this Swifty guy's really popular, maybe we should unban him. No! Blizzard is saying, these fans of Swifty are a threat to us. They could possibly hack us, they could possibly crash our servers for the next fucking two weeks, two months... Blizzard doesn't see Swifty's fans as something cool. Fifth, Swi uh, Blizzard sees Swifty as a threat at the moment because of what's going on. And that's not good for Swifty. And that's not good for Daryl McTire. That's not good for Darkspear. And Blizzard right now is just banning people. Right now there's a huge ban hammer. Hammer of ban your face. Yes. You know, they have a big, big fucking ha ban hammer right now. And they're just... Smashing people left and right, one by one. You're banned. You're banned. And you get a ban. And you get a ban. Everybody gets humpback whales. And you get a ban. And you get a ban. And you get a ban. All they're doing right now is just selecting all, banning people. Okay? So all the people that are fucking harassing Blizzard right now, you're not helping Swifty. You're making it worse for him. Every, You're probably making it to a point where Blizzard's going to sit down with Swifty and say, hey, you know what? We understand what you're saying, but right now you and your fan base are a threat to Blizzard's security, are a threat to Blizzard's servers, are a threat to our community and our forums.